Hello, good morning. I'm Juicy Jones, and you're watching Vape AM on Orbital Vaping Headquarters. I'm sorry we're running a little bit late today, but I think Skeletor must be feeling sick, and I guess we'll be seeing him later, but not during today's show, because he's not around. I think he's not well. But today, we have so much stuff going on. Today, we're reviewing the Spartans 300-watt box mod and some Liquid Sky, Sky E-Liquid, and we're announcing a giveaway, all 10 winners for the Liquid Sky E-Liquid giveaway, and we're going to announce a giveaway for a free Cooper 300 watt prime is 300 watt box one as well so stay tuned and uh, we're going to get to that right away cooper premise 300 watt temperature control box mod love that that's cool so i'm so happy to see all y'all let me just check out chat and see who is with us and so i can chat and say hello and I'm so, I apologize again for having a false start earlier. At least we didn't get started and have to redo it. But we got April and Hellfish. Hey, buddy. And Jay and JD from Liquid Sky. Great to see you. And Owen and Ryan and Yeti's uncle. And we'll see other people, too. Uh, I'm going to enjoy some tea and have a little vape before we get started. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm, yummy. Super good. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'm vaping some Smacks by Liquid Sky E-Liquid, which is my favorite one. We've already reviewed this in the distant past, and it's on the channel. And it's a sugar cookie. It's good. We're going to review the Applesome and the Smoky Monkey today. And I think I'm going to tell you also, I'm going to review the Mythical Milk, even though I didn't prepare anything formal. I have the very last of it here. <laughs> it's gone. But, um... I didn't, I didn't do a formal one, but I can tell you exactly what I think. And we're also going to tell you about the new flavor coming up from them, which is Liquid Skies Southern Delights, which he's just put on sale for people to try. Kind of a summertime flavor. It's a fruity flavor. Uh, the first thing I want to announce that's really cool is that I spoke with Andy over at uh, Vapor & Co. today, or this weekend, excuse me, and he, we announced a, a partnership with those guys, and so they're going to help us by sending gear out to the channel for us to show you guys, especially stuff that you all want to see, and I want to make sure that you're, as anytime you can, make sure you leave comments or tell us what kinds of stuff you think we should have on our radar in case we miss stuff. We do keep an active list and try to plan stuff out, uh, but I'm always interested in what you all think, so I'm really excited um, for that partnership with those guys. They're super great and we've had a couple of items come in from Vapor & Co. before and they have good prices and I want to tell you that there's a discount code at Vapor & Co. and it's OVHQTV. If you use that code you get 20% off anything on the site. Accessories, mods, whatever and free shipping on anything over $50. So that's a cool thing for this channel. It's a cool thing for them too because they're gonna get a lot of input from us about what is good and bad quite frankly and it's cool. And um, we're just really excited. So we love you guys. You guys are great. And thanks to Andy and everybody over there and all four of the Vapor & Co. stores and the website too. And the website is vaporandco.com, which will be in the description. So let's see. We're going to do the Primus mod. And, you know, I want to do one quick thing before we actually do it. So we have a chance to chat. It's going to take me a second to do this. And uh, so I want to know what all you guys are doing. What are you vaping on? How is your day going? I want to know everything about what's up with y'all. And I see Brian's here. Ryan, Carlos. Hey, Carlos. It's great to see you. Highlander. Hey, it's great to see you. And No Face Vapor. Nice to see you, man. Great to see you. First time live chat. That's great. I'm so, oh, and there's Yeti's uncle. That's killer. And Bob. So I have to go to my email here real quick. Yeah, this is pretty, this is pretty fun doing all this stuff. I'm really excited about the, um, about, working with the guys over at Vapor & Co. because that means that we're just going to have a, quest, a much steadier supply of stuff coming into the, to the channel to review. And so what's next is exactly what y'all asked for, and that's the TFV-8 and the, no, the Heracles V2, the new Heracles 2. And after that, the TFV-8 and uh, other stuff too, we have a list. So I'm really excited and I hope you guys are looking forward to it as much as I am. I'm just looking here through my at attachments. Yeah. And there's Steve M. It's great to see you as well. Super great to see you. I'm so glad. All right. Yeah. You guys have to forgive me for one second. I'm searching through my email.
There we go. Yep, that's what I needed. All right. Very nice. Hmm. That's perfect. So, I've given you a few seconds. What are y'all doing? Ryan Berman is hanging out at the house. He's got some bomb pop. That's cool, his recipe. That's really cool. And it says, Jay has a question. I have a question. I found a site that makes a recipe for him, Fuzzy Peach, for $22 Canadian. I think that sounds extremely expensive, even at the current exchange rates. But I don't know what size you're talking about. Um, and you guys like and subscribe, please, if you like these videos. Oh, and JD wants to go see Finding Dory with his daughter. Finding Dory is so freaking cute. My girlfriend and I saw that. It was really cute. I really like it. Carlos has got Charlie Nobles, Charlie's Custard, his Vapor Flask Light, and his Avocado 24. That sounds killer. Hey, there's Leaf of Vapes. Great to see you. Hmm. So good. So delicious. Yeah, you guys want to see some desk porn? La da da, look at that, it's this, and these, and a giveaway. Isn't that fun? It's so cool. All right, so let's get started, shall we? Unless you guys have other business to talk about. Uh, I'm excited, don't forget, we're gonna announce there's gonna be a giveaway for this shrink-wrapped box mod. Cooper 300 Watt TZ box mod coming up after the review. Uh, and it's going to be, I'm going to do it in comments on the video. And here is a, uh, the box for this one too. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the box that it comes in. It's going to be super short because the box is, uh, looks cool, but it's got nothing in it practically. And then I'm going to give you a real close look at the box itself and go through all the menus. And then I'll tell you um, pros and cons of what I think. Okay. Oh, and what am I vaping? I guess I, did I already say that? I thought I said that I've got my goon that I sort of half polished up here. And on here are those coils from Geek Vape that the fellows over at Vapor & Co sent. And I'm, I think I'll try to have them send the other five varieties. There's six varieties of these. And if they order them, I'll have them send them all if you guys are interested. Um, or maybe there's more, but they're only mm, six, seven bucks a piece. So maybe I'll have them send a variety. I didn't love these, but... Um, they're pretty cool. But anyway, I got that and I'm vaping smacks from Liquid Sky. Thanks for asking. And No Face says he just dropped his 200 watt Cooper in the sand and destroyed it. Wow. I'm at 150 watts, by the way, on those coils. And Yeti's uncle says he doesn't want it unless he's, unless he's shrink wrapped. That's funny. Okay, so I'm going to get the review started. I'm going to take a little pause here. And then uh, for those of you just tuning in or who are watching the replay, don't forget that I'm going to chop these and there'll be a link that you can click on and head straight to the thing. So here it is right here. Hey, I'm Juicy Jones. This is Vape AM and this is the Cooper 300 watt temperature control box mod review. That's it right there on the desk. And so I'm going to open up the box, run through it, show you what's in it. And then we're going to take a close look at the mod. I'll tell you some pros and cons, and uh, then I'll give it a grade. And uh, for those of you in the live chat, we can stay and talk about it for a little while. And don't forget, there's a giveaway of this box. I'm giving away one of these uh, in the replay chat, not during the live show, unfortunately. And then later, we're doing a live, sh another live review of the Liquid Sky E-Liquids, the Smoky Monkey, the Applesome, and the Mythical Milk, and his new flavor that he just announced, the, the Southern Delight. And then we're announcing the big 10-person giveaway from the June Overload Vaping Headquarters and Liquid Sky Giveaway, which is really cool. So let's just get started. I want to zoom into the desk here and show you there's the giveaway box. I'll just set that aside for some lucky winner later. And here's the actual mod, which we shall get to momentarily. This is my cup of liquid sunshine from sunny Seattle, Washington, which today it's not sunny. Big surprise for y'all. And this is the box. So I want to show you guys this thing. I think I'm going to turn the exposure down on this camera just a tad because I think it might be a little bit bright for what's going on here. Wow, that is 
slightly. It's better, isn't it? So here's the Cooper Primus 300 watt box mod. It's the KP300TC, and there's a picture of it on the front. You've got a UPC code and all of your serial numbers and scratch and sniff type things in the back on the side. Uh, more QR codes and then various information on the back. There is this hilarious paragraph here that not only do they steal the intellectual property of the Transformers, which I'm not sure they paid to use this, uh, they, this thing is also in funny broken English. And uh, there's some specifications here, a caution, and then all your certifications at the bottom there. Uh, this side's totally unadorned, and the bottom and top are largely unadorned. I'll just pop this little guy open, set that aside. And the Cooper thing has this cool electronic design like Smock has been using with the Cooper design in the last year or so, and I really like that. I think it's cool. This box looks cool. Nothing too much to it, but it is kind of rad. And you open it up just by sliding it out. Drawer style. And when I got it, of course, the mod was inside here. And there was a desiccant package to soak up moisture in there. And there was simply a manual scratch and sniff card. And then a really cool thing telling you about battery safety. And I really appreciate this from these guys. Look what they say. They said, look, here's a good battery. And here are a bunch of examples of bad batteries. Most of them, the wraps or the PTC rings are bad. So that's really great. Thanks, Mock. Thanks, Cooper. I like that. There is, of course, a little customer warranty card registration, and they're going to encourage you to go register your product. And then here's a manual. And I won't bore you by showing the exact every single page of the manual. Maybe you can pause if you're watching this and I do this. But it goes over everything, and I did appreciate the fact that it showed all the functions of the device. I didn't think it was particularly well written. And um, certain things aren't answered. Like, I don't see that there's any particular way to do to lock the resistance, for example. Um, and because the temperature control is, pass is passable, I didn't think it was so big a deal. So it doesn't have a minimal manual. It definitely has a decent manual. So let me just close that up and I'll set this back aside. I think I'll stick this in its little box so it stays presentable. Ding! For y'all. And here's the actual box. I'll take my twisted messes off of here. And instead of taking the atomizer off, I unscrewed the top. That was smart. Okay. There she is. That's it right there. The Cooper 300 watt box mod. And let me see, I almost forgot something here. Ah. Okay. So this thing is a relatively attractive device, except that I think it looks a little bit like a cheese grater. And um, if we take a little tour around memory lane here, you can see that it's slightly dated looking, just a little bit. I hope you guys can see that all right. And, um, but, oh, that's flashing. Looks like that's got some refresh problems there with the camera. Uh, one of my problems with it is that this zinc alloy that they use for this thing tarnishes. And I'm not sure if it comes across on the screen, but it's actually quite ugly how this thing is completely tarnished right here. And maybe you can see it, but it's no longer a uniform color at all, especially up in this area. You can see how it drastically changes color just based on where I was holding it. So one of the things to get ready for is that this thing is going to start looking pretty strange. You can see that these smudges and stuff are actually tarnished on the device, not just smudges. They won't come off. Uh, but the, the whole thing has air vents in the back. Uh, upgradable USB, which I think is a super good feature. This is the battery door in the back. It's got a logo. And then here's the fire button, which is a, a floating button, but it's a little clicky and it feels good. This top part is the largest kind of steel ring around the side. And I'm going to have to do something about that uh, screen if we're planning on doing this. Oops. Oh, I just dropped a mod. All right. And the adjustment buttons are on the front, so you can adjust them with your thumb. It's a little bit easier for right-handed people. 
I think, than it is for left-handed people, but you'll be doing this probably if you're left-handed. Still one-handable, totally. Um, this here we're going to get to is one of my kind of cons, and that is that the battery door is so bad. This battery magnet is real weak, and the thing is just really loose. Um, and you'll find yourself just hearing it like it just rattles. And that's just super irritating. Every time you set it down, it rattles. Every time you move it or touch it, it's just extreme. It just always rattles. And when you put it in and out of things, it just always comes off. So this is um, something they need to, really, really need to really work on. I think that they could strengthen the magnet to maybe change this clip so it was better. And this thing would be fine. But as it is now, it's garbage. It's really one of the worst battery doors ever. Um, the tray is just fine. It's a little bit weird that all three batteries on the tray are positive up. So make sure that you note when you're using yours that it's positive, 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 and negative, 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 and that they don't reverse. It does have reverse polarity protection and charge protection, so it will not work if you do it wrong, but you must remember. And I found that uh, the leads are real tight, and I found that to be just fine and pleasant. I don't think it's going to destroy my, my wraps too soon. Um, but on the positive side, if you find it too tight, you can bend these down a little bit. These are the clip style ones and they're good. It pays to put them in straight up and down as always. Oops. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having any trouble with this. Okay, there we go. I didn't have it before. So battery door, definitely a con. And the menu, I guess it bothers me that it's not refreshing. Let me try something. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. Yeah, it's not your fault. It's because of the refresh rate on the actual device. It must have a very, very, very low refresh rate. So it has a funky icon menu system, as you can see. And I know that that's flashing, but at least you can see the actual icons. The first one that you get to is for selecting either wattage, temperature, or the memory mode, which is kind of a custom TCR, just like the Spartans had. And then adjusting the magic percentage, which is really just a preheat setting that it's got there for wattage mode and then the pre-wattage mode for temperature control which is at the bottom if i choose temperature here i can set the pre-wattage at whatever wattage i want to there and you can put your magic at hard if you want to lower ramp up time i think it's really just probably cheating i don't know what it's actually mathematically doing there but it could be i guess just cheating the watts and preheating the canthal or nichrome or whatever is in there a little in the beginning so that's on hard. Go back to watts on hard. And to get out of this mode, you just long press on this button. There's no back button there, so you have to go back and forth. This second item that says coil is for picking the type of temperature control coils that you're using. And it goes between stainless steel, nickel, and titanium. And you can set, this is really nice, you can set the TCR right here for these modes. And so the stainless steel default setting is 108, the manual says 105. And I can leave it right there. It's fairly passable. Uh, but that's nice. You can set that right there. Hope you guys aren't getting epileptic looking at this. You can also set your initial ohm rating for whatever device you stick on here, which is really nice if you're trying to... Uh, I suppose this is like their version of the... Um, of the temperature control lock. But it's kind of... It's a, it's a version of that. Like that's for my crown right there. And it will basically default to that ohm rating if you put an atomizer on there, which can be nice. Uh, you can set screen settings to hide it or to change the contrast or the time that it's on. And so that's really nice if you want to save a little battery power. This thing already gets good battery power. Uh, there is a clock on this device with a calendar, and I really like that. Very much. Although I must say it's incredibly annoying that it resets every, time, every day. So this, we have to talk about that and it has a puff limit and the problem is that uh 
You can set a limit to it and also has a counter, but the problem is I, I would prefer if I had a timer instead of a puff counter. Puff counters aren't as interesting to me. Uh, this is the battery setting, and it shows you the voltage on all three batteries, which I really like. It looks like mine are not quite even out of the charger, unfortunately. Uh, I'd like them to be closer, but that's a really nice feature to have. You can just go straight to the menu. And the final item is the system uh, and update settings. So you can basically go into this menu and set the power, um, turn the power off if you like to, and put it into the firmware update mode. And so you've seen pretty much all the settings. I'll just put a quick temperature control coil on here and vape it while we talk about it just a little bit. The Cooper Primus 300 watt box mod. So as you saw in the little close up video, this guy is pretty large and has a really bad battery door. And I hate the zinc finish on it because it tarnishes and about half the people that I know who have these have a tarnished finish already. And I don't know what it's from, salt on your skin, body chemistry, acid, you know, there's no way to tell. Everybody's, everybody's sweat chemistry is different. But it tells me that it wasn't coated fully or just, they just need to take a pass at it. I shouldn't have to sand a mod that's a $60 mod. Um, among the other standout characteristics of this is that it is the heaviest freaking mod I own, except for my outside-the-box mods double 26650. In fact, it is actually heavier than that one. And let's go to the desk real quick and let me show you a comparison of all these mods sitting together in a happy, happy family. And then where, and look at that, and look where this thing sits in comparison to all those. This thing is so gigantic and massive that it just dwarfs all of them. And interestingly enough, even bigger mods, slightly bigger mods. I'll just take away the kind of smaller ones over here and I'll take away the 2650. Even slightly smaller, uh, large mods all still feel better in some way. Like for example, the home wrecker is light as a feather, absolutely light as a freaking feather. This thing weighs nothing. So it's really cool. This thing is also light as a feather because it's made of plastic, but it's also way small. This is my probably second largest regulated mod, the Spartans box mod. A lot of y'all have seen this guy in my review and it's actually it's actually just about the same size as the Cooper. It's only a few millimeters taller and only on one part. And I got to tell you that every part of this feels smoother to me. But this thing is killer on the desk. They chose to make a flange on the outside which makes it kind of bad in pockets. Like this doesn't really work in a pocket, but this is really one of the best desk mods. It works absolutely fantastically on the desk. And there's no, there's no, uh, there's no knocking it over sometimes. Sometimes other mods will knock over and this one goes, because it, 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 it's so, so bottom heavy. So let's go back up to the top. Um, oh, wrong one. So it's 100 millimeters high and 28 and a half and 62 millimeters and a half uh, deep and wide. So that qualifies as a real large mod. It can fire down to 0.1, up to point, up to 3 ohms. That's real standard these days. And I was sad that it wouldn't fire my 0 0.07, 0 0.08 uh, that I just got from Geek Vape. And it'll, but it will fire from, it says it'll, it'll fire in uh, temperature control from 0.06 to 2 ohms. And that's probably exactly right. And right now, for example, I've got a crown coil in here that is going at 520. And I don't think that it's like rocket stellar, but they include a TCR function. And so it's really nice. If you read the manual, it's really easy to set your own TVC. You don't even have to read the manual. Just go into the second setting on the menu to the coil setting, and you can set your TCR right there to whatever the correct range is. And you have to look in the manual for the value ranges that it says. Um, so the, the good things about this are that it has killer battery life. Like it's absolutely fantastic. Um, it has a good button layout and the UI is good. It's got a really big display with a big clock and you can upgrade the firmware. So I have hope that even if I have nitpicks about the electronics that, um, that they could be upgraded later. I think that the electronics are pretty good. It feels like it responds to just about the right wattages. Um, as I go up through one and 200 watts and it did respond correctly to the voltages. It showed me the correct voltages for the batteries and the builds I was doing. So like the Spartans mod, it leads me to believe that it could be firing at the correct wattages. 
And but I, we both, we all know that it's not really firing at 300 watts or anything like it. And that's what I'll get to in the cons here. Um, 300 watts takes 40. There were, this is the cons now. 300 watts takes 40 amp batteries. And first of all, I'm not at all convinced there's any reason to vape at 300 watts. You don't need a 300 watt mod. You need about 150 watts most of the time for most of the stuff we do. Uh, but there's the odd person who's going to want that or whatever, and that's fine. But it's silly for them to uh, tell people that you're going to get 300 watts out of your current batteries. You certainly are not. You're going to get about 230 watts out of your good basic brown pooper batteries or out of your 30 Qs, maybe you'll get 246, eight watts or something like that. Maybe 263 watts if you have really good batteries, but you won't get 300. 300 watts requires 40 amp batteries. So um, at least these guys, you know, I haven't heard anything from them, so I don't know what claims they're making, but there's no point in saying 300 watts because this will never fire 300 watts on these batteries and they know it. And like I said in the Spartans review, it's just like selling someone a car and saying it gets a thousand miles to the gallon but you can't buy that gas. On today's gas, it gets 30, you know. Um, the, another con, the electronics on this thing reset every night. What's the point in having a 24-hour clock if it resets every 24 hours or every time you take the batteries out? So they need to work on it remembering things because it resets the battery and all, not all of your settings, but it's very strange. It's inexplicable. And so Cooper, fix that. Firmware upgrade. Um, the battery door is super crap. Absolutely super crap. It's, I just, they, all they've got to do is fix this clip so that it's firmer and then put in way stronger magnets, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure that would work just fine. And I still would prefer to see it go sideways. Uh, but this thing is heavy, 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 heavy. It's nearly four-tenths of a kilo. It's the heaviest mod I've got by far. and It's good for the desk, but not super great uh, anywhere else. And the last con is that the... Um, is, and I'll just get right to the grade... And that is that it tarnishes. You'll see there that I changed the, the grade. I have to give this thing a C, and that's just because it gets a, a passable grade. It's not that it's a super crap mod or anything. It's okay. You're going to hate the battery door. So wait until you hear they've updated this. Uh, and then besides that, if you're in the, mo the market for a 300 watt, watt box mod, and you're searching between, say, the Spartans and this or whatever, the Spartans is better in your hand, I think, and travels better, um, and they have relatively equivalent electronics. But this would be good for somebody who's looking for something to sit on the desk and stays on the desk all the time uh, because it's perfectly suited to that. Uh, didn't have any problem with the 510. Didn't have any problem with the electronics. I tried it in titanium and stainless steel and all the wattage modes. And I tried various atomizers as high as I could go. And like I said, it only corresponded to um, the battery quality that I put into it. And it was directly responding like that. So it leads me to think that it's correct. Uh, but I don't want to. I don't want to rag on them too hard. I, I like the attempt. I think it looks a little dated. Looks a little bit like a cheese grater or something from the 90s. And so I would like to see this coated with something better. I think if it had a coating, and then maybe they toned down this this pattern, people would like this a little bit better. But most importantly, that. All right. Well, I hope you all have enjoyed this. If you like this, like and subscribe. And Overlapping Headquarters is just about to do in, on the for the live show another review of. Liquid Sky e Liquid, but first we're doing a giveaway for this right here. And so in the comments for this video, I want you to write hashtag Cooper Primus 300 Watt. All one word, hashtag Cooper Primus 300 Watt. And what I'll do is in a couple of weeks, I'll pull a winner and you'll win a 300 Watt box mod of your own and I'll send it to you. And I'm so excited. So that's great. All right. So like I said, if you like these, like and subscribe. I really appreciate everyone tuning in. And we're going to continue with a Liquid Sky review and a giveaway for that as well for the live show. And on the replay, all of y'all, please enjoy the giveaway. Hey, everybody. I'm back. The reason I do that that way is so that I can chop them up and post that review later on its own. So let me see how y'all are doing. Everybody. I'm just going to open up my chat window. I'm going to answer a few questions about this. There it is. There's my questions. Rhonda says all the Coopers have funky doors. And uh, someone says that it was tested close. So that's cool. That's nice. And Yeti's uncle agrees that the wattage race needs to end. I completely agree with that. I, I think that's... Silly. And uh, Rhonda thinks it's ugly. <laughs> oh, Vapester Phil says it looks like a, like a radio. That's exactly right. Um, 
Hayden Eckload, I was going to tell you that don't put it in the chat here. You have to wait until the video is posted. So that's a replay only giveaway, not for right here in the in the live chat, unfortunately. Wish I could do that, but I can't. Um, yeah. So let's see. Bob is saying something that, who said that? Board traces. Oh, I see. They were talking about building mods. So yeah, this thing is not horrible, but it's the, the door is the number one thing. If the door weren't so janky, I would probably use it more because I'm running around the house on the coffee table, in the living room, on the floor. It's good for that. It's big and heavy and gets fantastic battery life. Software is fine too, yeah. Top Bloke is asking about the software. It's good. Yeah, got no problem with it. Yeah, I think that the, I still prefer Joytex temperature control, but I know many, many, many people who just think the smock is the shit for temperature control, so I'm not willing to call it a con or anything. It's just my preference, and I think Joytex temperature control is better, but this is, like I said, passable, vapable, it's fine, and it has the adjustable TCR right on the device, so I like that. So I want to remind you guys, that to enter this giveaway, you have to wait until this video is posted on YouTube. This is the live show, and so it won't be posted until hours after I'm off the air. And so after that, you'll get a you'll get a notification from YouTube that it's been posted, quote posted, and then you can come into the giveaway and then type in hashtag Cooper Primus 300 Watt. Yeah, in the chat then, but it won't work now because the the um. The chat doesn't, the chat for this and the chat later is different. Not everyone knows that. Carlos Flores is asking what board it uses. It uses a Smock a custom board. In case you guys don't know, Cooper is owned by Smock. And so Smock manufactures his electronics. Yeah, it's pretty good. Absolutely. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, yummy. So I'm just vaping on everything right now. I can't wait to do the the giveaway announcement for the for the uh, the liquid sky. I don't know why I stammer on the words liquid sky every single time. It's so weird. What is wrong with me? But I'm super excited. Oh yeah, yeah. Ten of you. Ten of you won. Okay. Any more questions? Oh, not yet. <laughs> Hayden Eckless said, <laughs> his head in the cloud, that's funny. I got my head in the cloud too, right now. No Face Vapor is asking if there are any finishes or colors, and I'm not aware that there are. I think it comes in silver. If it came in black, it would be much better, wouldn't it, Al? Wouldn't you think? I believe it would. Feels like it to me. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Black, yeah, it would be way better. Especially because the finish is so janky. I can't tell you guys how annoyed I am that it tarnishes. It's weird. <laughs> and Toplo says you can vape and grate some cheese at the same time. Hmm. Yeah, the electronics are good. And I've got a titanium coil over here as well. Let me see. You guys are interested that I keep just queued up just to vape on in these occasions. I got to take it off a. Yeah, there we go. Oh, is that a new coil? Yes, it is. It's good. Good in titanium. Pretty good. And JD suggests they anodize it. Yeah, exactly. Just some other finish. Matt Gray, another suggestion. I like it. I like Matt Gray too, quite a bit. Yeah. The Tron tank isn't super great on flavor. It's a good utility tank. And what else do I have? I got stainless steel right here that I can do. Yeah. Just gonna switch it. Oh, is that a new coil? Why, yes it is. I like that it has a message. The Spartans didn't. That's good. Yeah, so people with the Cubis tank will be happy. Let 
drive that's kind of loud. Uh, Jim Boktrian, Boktration is asking about the Kanger Dripbox 160. And um, I've heard that the Dripbox is a good intro Dripbox, but I wasn't aware you could put different atomizer RDAs on it. But if you can, uh, it's a pretty good intro squawk box, to be honest. So it's pretty cool. And I see Eli said he would seal this thing. And, you know, you might, but you'd have to make sure that you did it the instant you got it. That's the problem is that you don't know about these things until you've used it for a few, day, a few days. I sort of assumed that it was sealed when I got it um, or that it had some kind of coating. But no. Uh, but that's a good tip. That's a very good idea. And Carlo Flores says that he doesn't think people really vape over between two and 300 watts. And I agree, not on regulated mods. People on unregulated mods do. And that's kind of my advice. If you need to vape at that wattage, then, you know, you may as well just use a mech and do your math. Um, because right now, batteries, all the overhead from the electronics just make it harder. So it's easier to do with batteries, but it's not as safe. <laughs> and no piece was saying at least it doesn't whistle. Yeah, that's true. Let's see what I've got here in my goon. And blazing this thing at 150 watts with this delicious smacks in it. If you guys want to see, if you guys are interested, I'll show you these insane coils again before I do that review. Ding! They're insane in the membrane. These these coils look absolutely fantastic and they work fine. The problem with them is that they don't they don't taste super great because they get too hot for what they are because they're not actually fused. They're actually a flat wire in the middle. Which is real strange. Smacks. Smacks is good. Dustin Stewart says he vapes about 90 to 115. I vape between 90 to 115. These are 150. When I get coils like this, I vape between 125 and 160 or so. Um, and no face is asking if it gets hot. And yeah, it gets, it gets way, 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 way too hot in this because of the ribbon. It's because of that flat wire just going what and glowing. And Ryan vapes around 50 to 90. That's about right. Um, <laughs> not everyone needs a thousand watts. That's what Yeti's uncle says. That's funny. And I'm, uh, I have a question here from Ryan Berman. Have I tried polishing it? Um, do you mean you mean the Cooper? Have I tried sanding it and polishing it? No, I haven't. I wasn't going to bother because I just don't think it's worth it. It isn't really attractive enough for me to get all shiny again, knowing it'll just tarnish again. But I'm sure you could. Let's see. It looks like Icy Lies goes about 30 to 60 a lot of the times. Another problem is that a lot of vapes just don't taste good at very high wattage. Like the nicotine or the PG or the ingredients can break down funny, and there just aren't that many that are good at 200 watts. The most of the people doing cloud comps and that sort of thing are doing 90-10 or all VG. So that tends to perform better at higher wattages. And Bob W vapes 30 to 120. That's his range right there. Yeah. And I want to emphasize again that this Cooper gets great battery life. Gets killer battery life. Yeah. Uh, so I guess it's pretty, it's time to do the review for the liquid sky, isn't it? Let me check our time team. Team time team. Team time team team time team time team time team 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 time team. I'm looking. Ever wonder our thing? So it is just about time to start, ain't it? There we go.
All right. So what I want to tell you about with Liquid Sky today is Applesome, which I have a fuller one if you want to see that, but Applesome, Smoker Monkey, which I have placed in my Tornado Nano. Whip. And Southern Delight. And Mythical Milk. I'm sorry if this is belabored and slow. Apologize. Doing two at once is quite a lot of logistical stuff to do here in your office. But I didn't want to miss any more time with these. Mmm, delicious. Mythical Milk, which is the last of it's in there, sadly. And here. Is the Southern Delight. Hello, Southern Delight. All four of those. And so that's in the way. First of all, let's talk about Mythical Milk. Mythical Milk is a strawberry milk. And the Mythical Milk strawberry milk is pretty good. I like this stuff. The reason why I didn't review it before is because I just plowed through it so fast, I didn't have a chance to actually do it by the time we scheduled the review. And this was one that just came along with an order that I made for myself. So in this case, I literally just plowed the heck through this stuff. And then didn't, didn't happen to review, sorry. What you'll like about it is that it's strawberry milk. It's a mild flavor. It has killer cloud production like everything from Liquid Sky. Be sure you go to shopliquidsky.com to get this stuff. And if you want a very lightweight strawberry milk, this is your guy. And this isn't too sweet. It isn't, um, in fact, people that don't like, people that need a much sweeter vape probably aren't going to love this one either. Um, but for me, it's pretty good and has a fresh strawberry taste and just the tiniest amount of bitterness at the very end in a good way in that strawberry flavor, but mostly sweet strawberry. I like this. I obviously do because I plowed through the entire thing without even thinking about it. So that's pretty yummy. This guy, <clears throat> the mythical milk, this gets an eight from Mortal Vaping Headquarters. Eight, I say. Uh, next, I want to talk about Smoky Monkey. And Smoky Monkey is banana cream. This is a banana cream vape that is like Nilla wafer banana pudding with toasted marshmallow on top. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And that's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like eating banana pudding with marshmallow on top. I mean, when you had Thanksgiving and you would go with the spoon and do it. And if I, my only criticism of it is that it's a relatively blandish kind of flavor. It doesn't pop very much. It doesn't very, it's, it's mostly banana. Banana, banana, banana. Obviously great cloud production like everything from Liquid Sky. Um, one of the things I didn't like about this is that it was a little bit spicy at higher wattages. It was really better between like 40 and 80, any higher than that. And it wasn't really, it didn't really stand up. And, um, I guess, I guess I was just a little disappointed in this one. It isn't my favorite. I give this one a seven and, um, no, I give this one a seven and a half and it's above average. I like it, but I don't like it as much as I like the monkey bread, and I don't like it as much as I like the Smacks, and I don't like it as much as I like New York cheese. Smacks is my favorite. Um, but this one's good. One of the things I like about Liquid Sky is I like almost all the flavors. So if you want to try banana pudding, give this a shot. Mm. And next is Applesum. There it is right there. An applesome is like an apple cinnamon muffin. That is the idea here. Apple muffin with cinnamon. I'm getting the avocado. What I like about this is that it's like a fresh green apple 
and a little pastry taste and a little cinnamon. And to me, this flavor is pretty good. You immediately get fresh apple out of it, especially when you smell it and taste it. And the pastry taste is a little subdued for me. I think I would like it better if it had a slightly smoother, bigger pastry taste. Uh, but this is one of my least favorite out of the line, but only because it doesn't hit my profile very much because it tastes a little boozy to me. And that's something that I feel about all Apple vapes. If you don't feel that way about Apple vapes, I think you'll absolutely love this because it's relatively mild and uh, has a subdued cinnamon. So people who don't want that will also like this. So I keep vaping this, but for me, not a pick. Um, but I think those of you who want to try an apple vape are going to should try this and give it a shot. And so my rating for this one is 6.5. And it's all, only because it doesn't hit my wheelhouse kind of at all. Um, and so just keep that in mind. My opinion, my friends, my wonderful friends. And don't forget, we're going to announce 10 winners of the Liquid Sky June Orbital Vaping Headquarters giveaway. I'm so excited. In just a few minutes. And if I feel like I'm rushing, that's why. Because I want to do that giveaway. I'm so excited. You guys have been waiting two weeks. Or three weeks actually and so this is his new flavor southern delight and southern delight is like a delicious peach watermelon drink a little bit of coconut like something you get in the store when you're just dying of thirst and you walk into the 7-eleven or if you're going to get a daiquiri or maybe something alcoholic it doesn't taste alcoholic at all but it's like something like that it's a real nice lightweight summertime flavor it has a real strong peach watermelon smell and i smell them both it is one of the things i like about this is that it smells and tastes just like it says. There it is right there. I'm gonna go, what wattage should I go to? I guess I'll go to 80 watts, 85 watts. It's got a real pleasant, it's got a real pleasant watermelon -y taste to it and it's lightweight it's fruity i think that for me i kind of wish that this one popped a little bit more this is a new flavor that he's getting input on and uh, has been out to the beta testers and it's popular and for me i just wish it was a little bit more bold of a flavor uh, but i like it i was surprised i like it because i should not like this i typically don't like just fruit vapes it's not a cream and it's not a custard and it's not a cheesecake But it has a super nice, lightweight summertime taste to it that I think would be, would be pleasant for anyone. For me, it's not an all-day vape, and it's not in my wheelhouse, so I'm probably not going to pick up any more. But I encourage you guys to try it, because out of fruit vapes, usually I don't like them very much. Um, but for my personal rating, I give this a 7.5. It's average good. It's good average, out of my wheelhouse. I wish it were a little bit more stronger flavor on the um, maybe the coconut or maybe the watermelon. Um, no, maybe the coconut. And the peach could be a little bit more intense, although I really like it. I like the kind of peach that you picked, JD. I think it's good. Um, so if you like these, like and subscribe. I want to remind you guys that in just one second, we're going to do a giveaway. And so that's been the review of Liquid Sky. The, that's almost the entire line. I don't think we're missing any uh, from the catalog now, which is really cool. And I hope we'll get more as we go. And um, JD at Liquid Sky is super great. He's in the chat right now. It's JD Vapor for you guys. <coughs> and I'm <clears throat> almost ready to do the giveaway. I'm so excited. And I hope you all are excited too. Because I certainly am. I'm going to try to position this so it's sort of in the window a certain way and then capture the window. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. There it is. Can you see it? Not yet. So let's build a little excitement, shall we? Are you all ready? Drum roll, please. Here's our 10 winners. April, Joshua M, Josh C, Brian L, Donald F, Danny G, Mike M, Chris W, Joe K, and Timothy C. I'm going to email y'all 
with the emails that you left in the contest with instructions on how to get your prize from JD. And I want to thank JD at shopliquidsky.com for providing these giveaway codes. He wants you guys to try the whole line if you want to, and you can pick a sample pack of any five flavors out of his whole line. And what'll happen is you email me, and then I'll send you back a code and a link to a form that you can fill out. And you'll, that'll get all your information to him so it won't be any trouble and all the stuff you want. Uh, and then he'll send that out to you, and we'll do that as soon as possible. And I want to thank everybody for that. We had hundreds and hundreds of entries for that, and uh, I just am really thrilled that I was able to do that for you all. And I want to thank JD again, even though I just did it a second ago, <laughs> because it's a thrill. We haven't done a lot of these in Orbital Vaping Headquarters, and I'm just really excited. And so, yay! Champagne cork popping sound. So that's been that. Let me get rid of that window and go back to chat. Now we can just hang out for a little while because we have some more time. I'm a little ahead of schedule here, just a tiny bit. And so I'll tell you guys how much time we have left. We got about 10 minutes. So we have some time to chat, my friends. It'll take a few seconds for y'all to catch up with the ending of my stuff. Yeah, and a bunch of you are in there. So if you're in there, if you're in the chat, say something. I want to see. Let's see. Nice. Orbital Joe, yay! That's cool. I know Ripcon won. April won. Excellent. That's killer. That's killer. I'm so glad. I'm so glad, and I thank all. I thank you so much, JD, for doing that. And we're going to do as many of those as he wants to. And um, I hope that. Uh, I just hope that uh, we can do a lot more of those. I just feel a little bit speechless. I think it's really fun. It's like I haven't done a ton of those, and this has been a good time. And we made the announcement about working with Vapor and Co. today too. And that's super cool. You guys want to see a huge logo? Let's get a huge logo. Downloads. Look at that. Vapor and Company. That's killer. That needs a background, doesn't it? Cool. Nifty. So there's a logo. What else are you guys doing? What are y'all up to today? You can tell what I'm doing. I'm going to go talk to the gal from Vango Vapes later on and try to get more stuff to review for you guys. Um, and I hope that juice is really great because if it is, then there's quite a bit of it and it's affordable and it's available in Canada. It's from Canada. So a lot of you, one of the reasons why I'm so interested in this is I have a lot of Canadian viewers and y'all Canadian viewers will have a chance to actually get this stuff. And then when I do giveaways, you can actually receive it. Isn't that great? <laughs> so that'll be really cool. Yeah, that's really good. So I'm just looking at my, just looking at my, at my chat. I see Lai says he loves the gray and the beard. Thank you, sir, very much. I have like a Frankenstein thing that goes right down here. I don't, this is mirrored, so it's weird. That's pretty cool. And I have a new one. This one's new, in case you guys would like to know. Since I started YouTube, like this gray streak right here, this is because of you. <laughs> Mm. That's Southern Delight. Mm. Also, you guys don't forget, go to vaporandco.com and buy stuff from Andy because he has been generous to the channel. And so thank you. It's partnerships like that that let us do more and show you more stuff. And it's the reason why I'm going to be able to bring you the Heracles and um, a bunch of other stuff too. We've talked about so many things that I want to regurgitate a list, but there's a lot. And uh, I'm just really excited. He's a great guy. And they're a cool outfit. He's got four stores in Florida. Central Florida, baby. All over Florida. Yeah. I see Liza acknowledges that this is his fault. Mmm. That's good. I think I'll go to the... Oh, let's see if the... I don't think the Q-Boy can fire this point oh eight coil. You guys want to find out with me? Batteries from Home Tech. Home Tech batteries. 
Oh, and there's Andy Budd. Thank you, sir. Andy Budd is our friend from Vapor & Co. I want you guys to all say hi, if you can. This is not an order or anything. I just want to express our gratitude. Yeah, it looks like it looks like the cuboid refuses to fire this. Bummer. You know what won't refuse to fire this? The Homewrecker G2. The Homewrecker G2 refuses to fire nothing. I've never had anything that the Homewrecker G2 wouldn't fire. I've never seen a low battery warning on my DNA 200 either, but I've never tried. I'm sure I could achieve that. Hey, there's Michaela. Okay, here we go. No face paper says he likes these home tech batteries, and I do too, sir. They're absolutely, they're they're like they're like really, just like battery. They're just like HG. I don't I don't want to get the number wrong. They're like HG twos or twenty five Rs that are just beefy. So I like it. I think I'm gonna up that. It is giving me a wattage limitation error though. So I can go up to 125 watts. Hundred and twenty eight watts. Hundred and twenty six. Hey, there's Aileen, my cute girlfriend. Hello, my love. I love you so dearly. That is my wonderful life partner, Aileen. Everyone say hello to her. Mm. Yeah, these, these coils ought to have more flavor for the voltage I'm plowing through them. Let me just tell you. It's not telling me the voltage. That's good. So let's wrap this thing up. We've only got three or four more minutes. Ooh, I see Liza has a package coming today. Yeah, Josh. Josh, you're back. You won the giveaway, buddy. You're one of them. Yay! So you guys will all be receiving an email from me with a code and a link to go to to give JD your information. So excited. And don't forget to enter hashtag, what did I say to enter y'all? Someone remind me what to, hashtag Cooper Primus 300 watt in the comments below after the video posts later on and you can win a mod. It's killer. And April's back. Hey April, I wanted to tell you, you won the giveaway. You did, you did. You did, you did, you did. There's the announcement again, right there. For those of you who missed it, the Liquid Sky Sample Pack. April, Joshua, Josh, Brian, Donald, Danny, Mike, Chris, Joe, and Timothy. All of you are great. And I happen to recognize a bunch of those names. That is great. Yeah, congratulations to all of you. I'm so proud and happy to be able to do that for you. Because I'd like to be able to give you guys everything because you guys are so great. You tune in so religiously and so regularly. And I think y'all are just the best, best viewers I could possibly hope for and the coolest vape fam. And I thank you. And so if you guys like these videos, please like and subscribe. Be sure to tell your friends, share these videos. And then later on, come back and enter that, that giveaway for the Smock Cooper Primus 300 watt mod uh, after the video posts. And so I'm going to vape out, have a drink of my tea. Mm. vaping sunshine and tell all of you have a great day and goodbye thank you